I am in the new Outlook and I want to find out where did it send the send to OneNote button or even for that matter, where did it put the send to Teams button? All these Microsoft programs are supposed to work together, right? Well, the old Outlook certainly had those buttons very visible for me on the home ribbon. Let's find out where the new Outlook has put them. So in this example, I'm on a message and I have the preview pane open on the right. I do need to also tell you that this only works in certain cases. So stick around for me to tell you what those certain cases are about. So uh, while I'm on that particular message and in the preview pane at the very top right of that preview message, there are a number of little icons and one icon kind of looks like a button with four little buttons in it, doesn't it? Anyways, if you hover on that, it says apps. And so with this message previewed, I can click on the apps button and then I can say, send this message to OneNote like I was used to doing in the other Outlook. So let's just try that. And you can see that uh, once I choose that, it's showing me the sections I recently had opened. I don't want to send to any of those. So I'm going to go to classroom and I'm going to go to my examples and example for demos where I'm going to send this email. So to put that email in that particular section of OneNote. So I just hit save and then I can open that section to see it. Uh, I'm not going to bother here. I'll just show you that it went there. So give me a second. So here is my OneNote. Notice that it added the subject line of that email as my page title. I can certainly change that in OneNote. I can just change it up here if I want to. But this is the email message. It's kind of done some funky stuff with the, the width of it, but I can probably fix that. Yeah. Okay. So that's one option. Let's go to another option. So if I make this reading pane a little bit smaller, um, by the way, I don't see that little waffle, um, icon. So I'm just going to go to the three dots, which is a menu. And from the menu, there should be an option that says apps and under apps is where it says send to OneNote. So if you, you can find it, if you dig deep enough, right? So let's go to that. Now the message itself uh, doesn't seem to have any options for me to send to OneNote. So there's nothing on my toolbar at the top. The only way for me to send this message into OneNote is to actually have the preview pane open and to use a menu showing in there or the icon showing in there if I have a wide enough pane there. Because if I right click on the message, it doesn't give me that option for send to OneNote. So one more thing that I'll mention about how this works is that if you have more than one email account, this is going to work with your main Microsoft email account. If I go to my other mission computers email address, so this is a secondary mission computers email address that I have. If I click on an email there, look in the preview pane, I don't see that little waffle button, but I do have the three dots. So if I go in there, I don't see any option to send this message to OneNote. This video was just meant to show you quickly how to get the send to OneNote button available to you from the new Microsoft Outlook application. All right. So thanks. Have fun. Bye bye.